Are you eating Taco Bell right now as we speak? Have you ever been curious as to why it's so delicious or what the beef might be truly made of? Or why there's a Taco Bell in the middle of one of the most important buildings in Washington, D.C.? The fast food company always seems to be coming up with something new and it makes you wonder what they're going to think of next. Here are things you must know about Taco Bell. Very important. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host, American Eye, bringing to you another epic video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or else the zombies will eat you. But first, thanks David and Northeast Aviation for leaving us these comments on our recent bizarre and mysterious aircraft video. If you worked at Taco Bell, let us know some of your secrets and we will feature you in an upcoming video. Number 16. Origins of Taco Bell Taco Bell was first founded on March 21, 1962 and has been feeding hungry customers ever since. Back then, the menu was fairly simple and definitely not as crazy as it is now. The main foods you could order just included tacos, burritos, quesadillas, and nachos. It was inspired by a man named Glenn Bell in California who was inspired by a Mexican restaurant known as Mitla Cafe. He took what he learned from that restaurant and reverse engineered their tacos, discovering how they were truly made. Eventually, he took what he learned and opened up the first Taco Bell in Downey, California. The franchise began to rapidly expand and there's even a Taco Bell somewhere in Iraq. Number 15. Taco Bell Pentagon Ground Zero There could be secrets in plain sight which might help us connect the dots that help us figure out the true agenda behind Taco Bell. In the center courtyard of the Pentagon, which is nicknamed Ground Zero, there's a gazebo which houses a corporation taking the daring risk of opening up shop and taking a nuke dead on. The reason why it gets the nickname of Ground Zero is because it's believed that the Russians would have aimed a nuke directly in the middle of the Pentagon. That's right, Taco Bell was the only restaurant bold enough to serve tacos at this target of international and domestic terrorism. You also have to wonder what Taco Bell knows about national security. Number 14. Owned by PepsiCo You'd be wrong to believe that Taco Bell wasn't a part of some corporate monopoly and was its own entity. PepsiCo has been a conglomerate since the 1960s and when they formed a merger with Frito-Lay Company that made them even more powerful. Their brand portfolio had become rather impressive, which also went on to include Tropicana products in 1998, Quaker Oats in 2001, and eventually even Gatorade would sell out. It's the second largest food and beverage business in the world. In 1997, PepsiCo acquired Yum Brands restaurants including Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, KFC, and Chevy's. Number 13. Appeals to Millennials Taco Bell is on pace to spend about $60 million on advertising this year. It appears as though they're trying to appeal to the millennial crowd as best as possible. One could probably say that they've been quite successful with this demographic, even during a time when foodie culture reigns supreme. It's not expensive, it doesn't require a lot of time to eat, tastes even better while you're drinking, and they're always coming up with something new. Taco Bell has currently 1.95 million followers on Twitter and counting, and are in the midst of experimenting with vegetarian options as well. Their social media marketing strategies have proven to be a huge success. There was even a petition to have a taco emoji included into our text messaging options. Number 12. The Waffle Taco All kinds of boundaries seem to be broken when the Waffle Taco was first introduced to the menu in 2014. Taco Bell was seemingly trying some new products, but this one definitely didn't work out too well. It almost doesn't even sound like it's possible to make a Waffle Taco, but that didn't stop the engineers and scientists who come up with this stuff. Their main advertising route was that Egg McMuffins were getting boring, but it seems like McDonald's is still winning the breakfast wars as of now. Once the waffle taco didn't catch on, it was up to the breakfast biscuit taco to help save the day. It came with chicken wrapped in a biscuit, but with country gravy and jalapeno honey sauce. Number 11. The Taco Bell Wedding In case you haven't lost all hope in humanity, it turns out that you can actually get married at Taco Bell, and here's how. Taco Bell in Las Vegas is offering to couples a way to walk down the aisle like never before. Here at Taco Bell Cantina, getting married is as easy as ordering a burrito supreme, but no refunds if she turns out not to be a keeper. A $600 wedding package includes a ceremony inside a chapel, which comes with free t-shirts, wedding hot sauce, and tacos, and even a Taco Bell branded champagne. What could possibly go wrong? Number 10. The Choco Dilla it seems like fast food restaurants are always trying to come up with something new in order to bring more people into the restaurants. Some strange items might be released to the public like this Choco Dilla from Taco Bell in the UK. It might look and sound kind of weird, but you can really tell here that it's simply a tortilla, but not filled with cheese, but filled with possibly Nutella or just melted chocolate. We're not sure how well it tasted with hot sauce though. Would you guys be willing to try this bizarre item? Number 9. Taco Twins did you know that almost every menu item is made in an identical manner every time? 
Taco Bell employees must use a scale in order to get the right amount of cheese, beef, lettuce, and other ingredients that get put in there. This results in tacos that are almost always identical to each other no matter where you go to eat it. Number 8. Doritos Locos Tacos Not too long ago, Taco Bell and Doritos collaborated to engineer the first taco that would include a taco shell made from Doritos. How could they create such a deadly combination? Other products made of Doritos were considered such as Doritos Taquitos, Doritos Burritos, and even Doritos Nachos. Sounds like they were trying to go too far, but eventually it was chosen that Doritos would start with the taco shell and see how it goes. According to the man in charge of Doritos for creating this, he stated that there were some prototype shells that would break as soon as you touch them. They had to go through various designs to make it more like a Dorito chip, but also strong enough to hold the weight of the filling of the taco. This photo we see here to the left is a shell prototype that broke too easily, and the one to the right shows the finalized product. People were actually lined up on streets and drove miles just to try this thing. Some claim to have been completely hooked even after the first bite and orange fingers lasted for three weeks. Number 7. Where's the beef? It looks like this person might have gotten a prototype shell. Taco Bell hasn't gotten the best reputation out there for their beef and have been accused of not even using real beef in some cases. There is some evidence of their beef filling only containing 36% beef and not the 88% as advertised. You better believe that this led to a lawsuit. But here in this case, they didn't even use their mystery meat in the taco, which must have still been disappointing. Number 6. Horse Meat in the UK Back in 2013, one of Britain's food regulators stated that they had discovered horse meat in the ground beef tacos. Why horse meat might sound bizarre to Americans, it might be a little bit more common in Europe, but we're pretty sure that people don't expect to get horse meat in their tacos. The spokesman for Taco Bell in the UK say that they had been supplied the ground meat from a company in Belgium. Once that was confirmed, they were going to discontinue business with that supplier. Number 5. Removing the Double Decker Taco? Just recently, Taco Bell took off a bunch of stuff from their menu, including the beloved Double Decker Taco. This was a go-to item for many drunk people on a budget who just couldn't decide properly between a burrito or a taco. The decision to remove this menu item has resulted in a lot of online backlash and even a petition that we see here in order to appeal the elimination. Maybe Taco Bell just started to think that they had too many tacos and need to get rid of one before asking their customers? Make sure you guys sign the online petition to bring it back once and for all. Number 4. Gidja the Chihuahua Don't you wish your dog could be the star of commercials and bring you home lots of Taco Bell? Probably one of the most famous dogs out there in the world would be Gidja the Chihuahua. She was born in 1994 and will forever be remembered as a legend. Taco Bell aired many popular commercials with Gidja during her career when she would say her famous line, Yo quiero Taco Bell. The little pup became an international superstar and many toys were made in her honor. She was later on replaced with a different ad campaign in 2000. She also had some different catchphrases like Drop the Chalupa and Viva Gorditas. Number 3. The Taco Bell Hotel Taco Bell might have some cheap prices for food, but their hotel is kind of expensive. It's doubtful that you can even reserve a room at the moment. This extremely in-demand hotel is located in Palm Springs, California, where the hot sauce isn't the only thing that's hot. The weather is too, which is why they have a decent looking pool as well. Who wouldn't order room service if they had a dollar menu? The Taco Bell Hotel and Resort is set on making all of your taco dreams come true, but due to high demand, the rooms themselves are getting kind of pricey. Two queen beds will cost you roughly $300 a night, and you can tell that they're sold out already. At least their mini fridge is complimentary, which is more than you can say about Las Vegas hotels. Just be sure to take as much hot sauce as you need before you leave to make up for the overpricing. It finally opened up in August this year, so it might actually be on Google Maps. Let's just hope that they got a really good plumber working there. Number 2. Taco Bookmark A photo emerged online recently of somebody who was using a book that was the unfortunate victim of a taco bookmark. Instead of using a piece of paper to mark their place, someone decided to use a soft taco instead. They just slammed it on the page where they were and then left off. Not only is this a crime waste and a perfectly good soft taco, there could be very important information on that page that now is just lost. Maybe the person was going to come back and eat the taco but simply forgot it? There are just too many questions that we don't have the answers to right now. Before we get to our number one, tell us about your craziest Taco Bell experience and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. We're sure you have one. And number one, Taco Inspection. Sometimes it's really hard to tell if food is fresh or stale and the only way to know for sure is to run a quick inspection. Maybe that's what this guy here is doing? We're not really sure what this guy does on his spare time, but taco licking appears to be a hobby of his. Some people are into it and some aren't. Great idea though, right? What happens on Facebook is seen by the whole world, so obviously word got around about this to his manager and he was fired. Turns out they were just taco shells used for training and never were actually sold to customers. Or were they? 